royalties. Today we look at the issue of housing and what the candidates had to say at the debate October 27th at the Legion. Okay, thank you. Our second question is for uh, the NDP candidate, Mr. Schoenfeld. And the question is, with the rising cost of rent and affordable housing in Esteban being such a concern, what will your party do to alleviate this issue? It is the NDP's plan to stop skyrocketing rent in increases through next generation rent controls. We will build affordable, uh, we want to build affordable housing by way of incentives for developers, cooperatives, and community organizations, and target home homelessness through a housing first strategy in its first four years in government. We need to end these auto, we need to end these out of control rent increases as soon as we are elected. The problem is with our lack of housing in this city and as throughout the province, the renters, many of them not of this province, see no harm in pushing up rent 10, 15, 20%. I myself have lived in this town for 12 years, and in the last four years, my rent has gone up 40%. I don't know about you people that are paying mortgages, but that's one heck of an increase. And these need to stop, because the people in this province need to have rent controls because of just the simple matter of living, living in human dignity, being able to put food on the table, and being able to enjoy life as we know it here in this province. We are introducing this legislation. We also realize that rent control is not the whole answer. That's why we are looking at putting in incentives for new multi-family units. We are looking at working with local cooperatives to help them buy. There's, we're, we're looking at about $20 million commitments, is what we're looking at, to help pay no interest loans for the construction of new affordable housing. This plan is an expensive plan. It's going to take four years to do it, and it's going to cost about $340 million. Part of the reason that there is a housing shortage is that the NDP never plans for growth. And in fact, one of the cabinet ministers in the NDP government uh, said that the more people that have this problems, that would mean that there was more life for the rest of us. And the NDP were the ones that took away rent control, and in fact, they did a study just before their government fell. And I quote from their own report on housing in Saskatchewan, consultations September 19, 2007. The general conclusion was that rent controls create uncertainty and will lead to a decline in housing availability and quality as rent controls would be a disincentive for investment. The Green Party, what we'll do is we'll invite the private sector to invest in building new houses and we will build it to make affordable for the people if they want to buy it. The shortage of available housing, rental housing in particular, has been identified as has been identified among the most significant impediments to Esteban business, Esteban's business community. If elected, what steps would your government take to ensure a proper supply of housing is made available? Mr. Gonzalez. Well, the Green Party of Saskatchewan as I will invite the private sector to invest build new houses and to retrofit some of the old houses that we have around and then make the new houses affordable for people if they want to buy it. The Green Party of Saskatchewan government will increase funding to SAS housing for building energy efficient social houses and then as I said with the auction to buy them, to purchase them or buy them. The Paris NLA will ins give incentive to private sector to create multi-units. Because right now what we have in Esteban is there's a lot of development in this city or this town, but it's about condos. Then people, that's why we have the shortage of rent space to rent because 
everything is condos or houses. And the houses, right now, nowadays, if you want to buy a new house, you have to have $500, $700,000 to buy a house. And most of the population don't have that kind of money to buy the house. Then even a condo, you have to have two, three hundred thousand dollars to buy a condo. Then if you're making minimum wages, how are you gonna buy a condo? That's why people is having a hard time to pay the rent. Rent is so high in this town. Like it's average twelve hundred bucks for a two bedroom apartment. Then how I don't understand how the business community think the people in minimum wages can survive in the salary. First of all, rent control does not work. Uh, Manitoba has rent control, and yet Winnipeg has the tightest housing market in the country. What the Saskatchewan Party's uh, plan is, um, it's called the Advantage Housing Plan, and it'll create over 4,600 new housing units over the next five years in entry level and rental housing. And that includes um, 1,000 new on the Head Start for a Home, um, 600 new homes uh, through matching home ownership grants to municipalities, and uh, there's some program uh, through the Rental Construction Incentive Program. And um, the, um, the city of Estevan, actually, this is where uh, municipalities and cities come in, and um, the Rental Construction Incentive provides municipalities with a cost match grant of up to five, or pardon me, up to $5,000 per unit to, uh, to provide to builders of new rental units. And Estevan has applied for this rental incentive program, but um, at this point, um, uh, when the election was called, um, no uh, decisions had been made. Thank you. Oh, I should just ask that, uh, or pardon me, add that uh, between 1992 and 2005, the NDP government did not increase shelter rates for low-income Saskatchewan residents, despite a 40% inflation rate during that time. First of all, on building, um, for improving our accommodation situation, um, we're introducing, as I said earlier, next generation rent, rent control, which includes an introducing legislation that uses a fair rents model, a rent control plan which allows for allowances for new construction and non-corporate landlords. We are building affordable homes using incentives for private developers such as PSD rebates on material input costs for new homes priced under $280,000. We're also giving a first-time buyer's grant of $2,000 to cover the cost of closing and related costs, and we are committed to building 2,500 new affordable rental units in this province. Another quote that I found a little disturbing was that Brad Walt had at the SAS Rental Housing Industry Association by saying alternative to rent control is voluntary rent control. So I would suppose maybe we should ask our people that are renting in this community, maybe they'll just make voluntary rent payments. Thank you. Check our website tomorrow for the final part of our provincial election series. The candidates will speak on the issues of lack of physicians and the twinning of Highway 39. For estevanmercury.ca, I'm Reese Kelso.